G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist coming to you today from the ref pop up at the Tour Down Under. I'm with Darren from Born Cycles of Geelong, Australia. This is a brand that not everyone's going to be aware of, but Darren's going to fill us in and show some of his beautiful bikes. Hello, Darren Baum from Baum Cycles. I've been building bikes now. This is entering or finishing my third decade. So I started as a youngster. So 1989, built a frame as work experience under the guidance of Brian Cross and haven't stopped building from there. First frame was a track bike, and so we've built from track bikes all the way through to mountain bikes, gravel bikes, of, is something that we've been doing for 15, 20 years. It's obviously become a lot more popular recently because we've got components that's allowed to make it a way better bike. Our first Orbis that we're looking at, our first gravel bike, is our Orbis Plus. And this is for the person coming from road. So this bike is takes from a 34 up to a 40 mil tire size. It takes a road group set and we recommend to go to the gear ratios one to one. We, from your traditional road position, we normally recommend to go one bar size out and 10, 10 mil back. What we found with our testing, one-to-one -one gear ratios will run out of traction with a 40 mil tire. This is for gravel road, which is you know, up to 12% type of climbs. It's smooth, you can drive your road down. You can ride in close quarters with your friends. It's also got the MV fork that can take the mud guard. We only do this in electronic gearing. If you're looking for a little more gearing, it will take the new Shimano GRX. Construction of the frame is titanium, this model. Uh, we machine all the head tubes, bottom brackets, dropouts in-house. Uh, to get the clearance around the chainstay in that, we use a 3D printed piece. Um, every bit of shaping and forming we use. Where the 142 by 12 mil axle standard, uh, 12 by 100 front, flat mount. What we specialize in is buttons, making the bike for you. So each Orbis is individually butted for you. So we can select the tube diameter, and the butt length and the butt thickness. So there is no standard tube set for it. The Orbis X is a gravel bike for gravel tracks. This is where we need to be careful with gravel. Gravel can go from adventure to misadventure very quick. This is purely nearly 100% on gravel. For, uh, in Australia, we've got long gradual climbs and then off our gravel roads, we have gravel tracks that can be up to 20% or more. So gearing, we go to way larger gearing and we need to go way beyond that one-to-one. -one. So quite often that means a one by. And because the hills are so much steeper, we need more traction. So we've opened up the tire to be more from that 45 to 50 mil actual clearance. As you go to that tire size, rubber trail increases drastically. So we need a wider bar. You need a flare bar. The flare bar is to give you dance room. And what I mean by that is as you go over the crest of a climb, you will be trying to get around or over water bars to control the water. And so you need to need that dance room to bunny hop and hop over things. In construction, it is the same titanium, same butting options. It's got the 3D printing. Some people will request a dropper post but it's made individually. When I'm not riding gravel, this is my road bike. This is Orbis, and 
and this is from a 28 up to a 34 mil tire so very hard pack gravel if you wanted to but it's more of a modern road bike so obviously disc i've outfitted it with the shimano di2 142 um, fully customised, lots of colour, great for running around these Adelaide roads. My childhood hero was Phil Anderson and he's one of the first true gravel riders going around. So the last two years of his contract, he wasn't allowed to ride on dirt and he secretly did. If you don't know who Phil was, he won the Amstel Gold in 1983 and we've taken the delivery of that paint scheme of his Peugeot and we've turned it into his Orbis X. Closing off, Darren from Borm Cycles, always welcome for a visit. If you want to find out more, bormcycles.com.